welcome to my channel sharing scriptures today I wanted to talk about some dreams that I've had about the end times and the rapture and my son even had a dream about the end times and I noticed a lot of people were posting their dreams so I wanted to share ours as well first I wanted to read Acts 2 17 in the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit upon all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy, your young men will see visions, and your old men will dream dreams. And I've noticed that a lot of people have been having dreams about the end times and the rapture, and I enjoy watching all of them, and I wanted to share mine as well. So the first one I do want to share is my son's because he said that he and his brother were with their dad and they were all together and the rapture cured and none of them went in the rapture and then right after the rapture there was a storm and they all were together and running and it was very scary so that really scared him he thought that maybe he wasn't going to go in the rapture because of that dream but i told him it might just be a warning you know they all believe in god so it might just be a warning to get closer to him or something like that so that was his dream and then I had a dream. I was sleeping in my dream, but I felt this really peaceful energy lifting me up. But in my dream, I just felt it in my shoulders, my arms, and my head was being lifted. Then I woke up. So I was disappointed I didn't get to see the rest of that dream, but I felt like it was a rapture dream. Like um, I've been watching a lot of people with their rapture dreams, so I was praying that I would have one. So I guess that was the one that I had and um, wish I could have saw more of it though, but I really did feel like it was a rapture dream and I was starting to be lifted. So what a great feeling it was though. The next day I just felt so peaceful having that dream. Then when we went to Florida in June, the end of June, so those first two dreams we had around May of 2020 and then around the end of June 2020 we were at our timeshare in Florida and I had a dream, it was more like the end of the world or I knew it was coming I knew that Jesus was coming back soon so I was in a place that was supposed to be my house and I remember a table and I remember one of my old friends was there and his friend and I just remember how important it was that I was just telling them about God and I felt the need to tell them because I felt like God was coming back soon and I really needed to tell them about God so that they would go in the rapture as well. And I was so busy telling them about God and I noticed that there was a flood in my house and it was up to my thighs, but I was able to walk through it. We were walking through it, but I could look down and see everything in my house was just floating in the water, like just gonna float out the door and I didn't even care, you know, because in my mind I was thinking, well, God's coming back soon, so I can't take any of this stuff with me. So I just really didn't even care. It was more important to me to continue to tell my friends the good news, you know, so that seems like, you know, that is really important now. And I didn't even care to save anything. I was just letting it all float out the door. You know, so that reminded me of a Bible verse in uh, Matthew 6, 19 through 20. It 
Don't store up treasures here on earth where moths eat them and rust destroys them and where thieves break in and steal. Store your treasures in heaven where moths and rust cannot destroy and thieves do not break in and steal. Wherever your treasure is, there the desires of your heart will be also. So that was actually through 21. Matthew 6, 19 through 21. So that's what I wanted to share today. If you have uh, any ideas of what you think some of those dreams could have meant, please leave it in the comments. I'd be happy to hear. And also if you've had any dreams about the end times or the rapture, I would love to hear about it as well. Please put it in the comments. And I also wanted to share, like I do in all my videos, you know, you want to be ready for the rapture, right? So to make sure that you are saved and are able to go in the rapture as well. Romans 10 9 says, if you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So if you haven't said this prayer yet to give your life to God, please repeat this prayer after me if you're ready to. And I hope that you are because I really do feel like it's going to be soon. Dear God, please forgive me of my sins. I believe that you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins and that he rose again. Please come into my heart. I repent and please give me the strength to live for you all the days of my life. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. And then just start praying to him and reading your Bible and changing your life. James 4, 8 says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. And it really is a great feeling. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. And if you want to see my other videos and the ones I'm going to upload next, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. Talk to you soon.